Well now, take a look at this. I'm getting ready to reach into my little refrigerator and grab two beers. Now, I choose not to drink alcohol, so what could I possibly be planning to do with these? Well, keep watching and you'll soon find out. Hello everyone, UXW Bill's mom's here, and we're going to be making something very delicious tonight as a special treat for the family because everyone is home. We're going to make some beer bread, which if you've never had it, it's a very delicious, very nice tasting bread, and it's so easy to make because you don't have to mess with yeast or rising or anything, but yet it has a wonderful yeasty aroma and smell. So we're going to start out with three cups of flour. <laughs> and since I couldn't find my one cup, we'll just use the half cup and we'll double it. Okay, actually I do believe that the cup measure is outside because um, we actually made Castile soap today and um, I believe that that's where the one cup measure ended up. So, we can count here. We want three cups of self-rising flour. And if you don't know what self-rising flour is, it is different. And I believe... It's one. Um, you can make self-rising flour if you don't have any. I'd have to look up the recipe for that. I believe it has baking powder in it. But it's much easier to just get self-rising flour from the store. So I'm just dipping it out of the bag, leveling it off. There's two cups. And I need one more cup of self-rising flour. This is the flour that you use to make biscuits. So, I'm quite fond of my bright red measuring cups because they're easy to see. Okay, we have measured three cups of self-rising flour, and we're going to try to do this twice. All right, we're going to make two loaves, actually. We're going to make them one at a time, just for ease. So it's very simple. You can memorize this recipe. Three cups of self-rising flour, three tablespoons of sugar, okay, one. What could be easier? And it's so good. Mm -hmm. It'll be a special treat for everybody tonight. Okay. So, three cups of self-rising flour, three tablespoons of sugar, and a can of beer. The last time we made this, we actually used uh, Guinness, which made a, uh, a darker beer. And today it looks like we're featuring Bud Light, just because that's what happened to be in the refrigerator. We're not big beer drinkers around here, so we just kind of use what we have. I think the reason that we had the Bud Light beer had to do with the fact that we were actually killing slugs out in the flower bed in the garden. Well, also your brother was a designated driver for some folks, and they paid him in beer, so... <laughs> Oh, the irony. <laughs> That's the irony. Okay, so as you can see, I'm stirring this and I don't have to stir it too much. We can smell the beer. All I want to do is incorporate those three simple ingredients. All right, now I need a spatula. I neglected to grab one. I have these very nice silicone spatulas, which are very flexible and easy to use. So, I'll get all my material off the spoon, and we're going to make a regular loaf. We're going to make a cheesy loaf. So it'll be quite tasty. Which one are you going to make first? Which one should we make first? Well, I think the cheesy loaf might not be a bad idea. Okay, we just happen to have some cheese here. And, uh... It should be fine. I bought it just the other day. Looks good and tasty. 
I'm not even measuring. We just dump some in here. Okay. I don't know why it's clumpy like that. There we go. Mild cheddar, cheese, and you can see how that looks. And all I'm going to do is kind of break it up a little and incorporate it into the dough. It'll bake in. It'll be good. All right. We have a nice dough here. Now, what you bake it in is pretty much up to you. You could bake it in a loaf pan. You could bake it in whatever you wanted. Ours is going to be round. We're going to bake it in this um, stoneware ceramic piece that I like because when it, it bakes round and it looks really nice, like a country loaf. So I'm using real butter to grease the pan, as you can see. Yes, indeed. Okay, and I'm simply going to take my spatula and I'm going to put my batter right in there. No need to knead it or shape it like a loaf or anything like that. This is about as easy as making bread can possibly get. Yes, indeed. I just need to get all that good stuff out of there. All right. So there you have it. This is step one. Okay, step one. Now, since we want to make two loaves, what we're going to do is simply repeat the same process again for a second loaf, which we'll bake in this deep dish pottery pie pan. Okay, so what do I do? Well, it looks pretty easy. Need I more flour. Three cups of self rising <coughs> flour, which I happen to have right here. And my initial concern was that there might not be enough here, but there's plenty. So that's not a worry. And um, you will find that beer bread is very popular and tasty. And if you have people in your home that don't drink as we do, don't tell them because they'll like it if they don't know what's in it. And I believe that what we ended up telling my dad was um, <laughs> that it was country bread. Yes. <laughs> and he enjoyed it, so obviously it worked. The beer just gives flavor. If you know anything about beer, you know it's made with grain. The alcohol actually evaporates the from it during the evaporates. baking process. That's right. So you're not going to get a buzz from beer bread. So, and I'm... I really am diligently counting here. This is the last one. Okay, so I level it with my knife, nice and level. And then into the bowl it goes. Yep. So, it's a good idea if you're going to keep this around for an extended amount of time, put it in an airtight bag. So it doesn't it get your, like mealworms. Get it in your refrigerator <clears throat> so it doesn't attract anything undesirable. Okay, next we need a little bit of sugar. Three tablespoons of sugar. What could be easier? Three cups of self-rising flour, three tablespoons of sugar. Well, just drinking the beer could probably be easier. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it should be easy to recognize which one is the cheese bread because we should see the little flecks of orange in there. Well, that and the two pans that we're cooking it in are different. All right, so. so. Here I have my flour and sugar. Use the same bowl, okay? And I don't know that we've ever made this with Bud Light before. Um, like I said, the last time we made it, I think we used a regular can of Pabst Blue Ribbon. And Guinness. And, and the Guinness loaf was noticeably darker. It was dark. Well, Guinness is really not a beer. It's it's something else. It's an ale. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Well, it's Irish. That's what it is. It's Irish. Yes. It's tasty. So this is kind of foamy. If you want to see it, it's, it's kind of bubbly. Yep. And it's just a matter of the first time I stirred it, I actually stirred it with the spoon. This time I'm stirring it with this really nice, very flexible silicone spatula that's got a wooden handle. So it's great for stirring. and. We're just going to stir it kind of around and 
arms are kind of tired from planting bushes. You were planting evergreens all day earlier today, weren't 27 you? 27 blue rug junipers <clears throat> on a hillside in the sun. And it was really hot. Uphill both ways. Yeah. These bushes she's talking about. I dug all the holes, but her arms are tired. <laughs> I planted them. Did a lot of sitting. <laughs> all right. I will grease this pan again. This is real butter. Oh, do we have two people on the video crew here? Oh, I'm just getting. Oh, he's taking still pictures. 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 Okay. All right. So here's our second loaf of beer bread. So how do you shotgun it when it's in bread form? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sure some watchers. <laughs> it took me a moment. I don't. I don't think it would be possible to shotgun this. I, I don't think I would recommend that. You would probably choke, and you would be a butthead, and you would die. So we don't want anybody dying watching these videos. So don't do that. Okay. Okay. So we have our two batters prepared. And um, they'll both rise up to be nice, round, dome-like loaves. And it'll fit in this one because I've made it in this one before. One thing I have to do before we pop it in the oven is pour a little melted butter over the top. So I'm just going to check how much I need there. The management disclaims all responsibility if by some chance you do happen to die while watching a UXW Bill video. Okay. Starring UXW Mom. Each and one UXW of these, <laughs> each one of these loaves, in the process of baking, gets a half of a cup of melted butter poured over it. So what we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a whole cup, I'm going to melt it, and I'm going to divide it up. And uh, the instructions say to um, pour one third of the butter over the dough and then bake it for 40 minutes. Then pour another third over it and bake it for 10 minutes and then pour the last third of the butter over the bread and bake 10 minutes longer. So it bakes for a total of uh, <laughs> 60 minutes. Yeah. All right. So, I promise you she's not had any beer during the no, entire course of making no, this video. It's not like, it's not like a, a can for the dough and a can for me. No, it's not like that at all. So it's just like I was in the hot Based sun Based off your day. math, it's a can for the dough and about six cans for you. It's like the sun. It like it like made me all burning. I remember correctly. You were in the shade quite no, a bit. No, I was in the sun. It was really hot. So I'm going to melt a cup of butter. Okay, so I've got a cup of butter here and I only partially melted it in the microwave. doesn't need to all be melted right now anyway. And if I set it, if I set the bowl on top of the stove, while it's baking... That'll heat, melt the rest of it. Yeah, the heat from the oven will melt the rest of it. So it's all I want to do... good to work with nature. ...is... Um, I think I'll use the tablespoon and um, so we're just pouring I know that uh, I'm going to divide it into like thirds so I think we'll start off this is very forgiving we'll give everybody like four tablespoons enough of that melted here. Okay, then we'll set the timer for 40 minutes. Tune in in 40 minutes for a little butter marinade. Thanks to the magic of video editing, you couldn't do it faster even if you could microwave this stuff. And no, it's probably not a good idea to microwave beer bread. Okay, so take a good look at this. You can see the butter is on the top of the batter and the butter will actually melt into the bread and make it really tasty and uh, we pour the butter on in stages. So right now it bakes for 40 minutes. All right. Okay, we'll start on the rest of the dinner. All right, it's time to see if one of these um, <laughs> loaves of beer bread <laughs> gets the bizarre fur head and the College 153 seal of approval. I'm not a new U. I'm gonna make a UXW James account. <laughs> I'm okay. Gonna move on. 
And I might so. have to charge royalties for that. <laughs> Alright, we are cutting into the cheesy beer bread. He's going to cut the cheese, albeit indirectly. <laughs> So I went to the subway. Did you know they're making a garlic bread you can have a sandwich on now? Oh, that's pretty rocking. So if William wants to get, uh, USW Bill wants to move a little bit closer here, you can see the flecks of cheese baked into the bread. Oh yeah. Is half for me? Yeah, you sure can. Set it down. <laughs> Is that half for you? <laughs> you people in the viewing audience, you should see what I have to put up with. Right. What he has to put up with? <laughs> one of these for me then? <laughs> That's not going to work well, Foz. Well then cut a proper sized Here. piece. You let me get around to doing it. Angry beavers. And yeah, you are one. <laughs> 